Well, there's nothing much better than coming home to dinner already prepared like it is right now. Yeah. So <laughs> Marilyn <laughs> Whalen back yep. with us. And she is, and she's got some great food that we, we, we've made some changes, though, since our last segment. If you <laughs> stuck with us, we, we had to make a quick adaptation. Right. Yeah. Supervising the two of you cooking <laughs> did not work well. I could not keep up with both of you, but we forgot to add the Jiffy um, corn muffin mix to our creamy corn casserole. Okay. So I added it post casserole time. It works. There's no problem. It still looks so, delicious. Yes. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. What was in the crock pot? Okay, in the crock pots I made a beef stroganoff and you take beef cubed beef stew meat mm -hmm. or I like to use the um, the fajita meat that oh. you buy at the IG. Oh, it's already smart. in little strips yeah. and it, nice. it cooks Easy. easier and faster. So I, I brown that in the pot because this is a great thing about these slow cookers. You can put them on the stove top, brown your meat, put it back on the base, add your fixins, cook it six to eight hours, you're good. I so never thought here, about that. Yeah, yeah, so in the beef stroganoff, there's beefy mushroom soup oh. and a four ounce square of cream cheese and a, I believe it's a half a cup, the recipe's on the website. Yes, it will be. A half a cup of sour cream. Okay, let it cook till the meat's all tender, about six to eight hours. I leave it in the morning, come home at night. And there it is. The door, it's ready. Bam. Yeah. And then the other one was some pork stew. This is pork stew. Um, this is two pounds of cubed pork, and you braise that with some flour. That's your th the thickening agent. So you cook this the pork on the stove top again with the flour, get the tomato juice, pour that in, then it's all going to thicken after it cooks for four to six hours. Um, and in it is a lot of seasonings. There's margarine, thyme, rosemary, and um, garlic. And if you don't want to use fresh garlic, you can use powdered garlic. Oh. So, okay? Okay, well, right. it's time to try. Okay. Time to dive in. we're about out of time, right. but we'll definitely have oh. these on okay. stayofliving.tv after so today's good. show. Marilyn Whalen, thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Spoiling you us today. Looks great. You enjoy. So good. If you would like to see a copy of this <laughs> recipe, like Matt mentioned, definitely head to our website, stayofliving.tv. After today's show, we're back with five winners today. Bye. We'll be right back.